Ready, Alice? Yes, no. Yeah, go. Uh, introduce yourself first, yeah? No, you come, come. Sensitizing people of this event, how sensitive it is, how it's important to our history, our history, from a historical perspective. So we're going to give the resistance, uh, the Cambodian resistance group, a warm time for the welcome to the heart of the city and library corner.
We have a few more seats available at Nabraima Bowl tomorrow evening. This show begins at 7 p.m. It's a reenactment of the Kambuli riots that took place in Port of Spain in 1881 
and in San Fernando in 1884. This is an interesting part of our history that we need to understand. So from that perspective, I'm inviting San Fernandos. Let's give this support. Let, let, us, let us show a strong San Fernando welcome to the task for resistance, the Tambourine Resistance Group against the, the atrocities performed against our people. This is where carnival started. So I'm thinking the San Fernandos, come out to Mori, come to the road, come and relax and take in the show. The, uh, strong cast demonstrating the whole how carnival evolved over the years of how it started. Thank you, sir. So I was just asked a question, why is this space available? This space was made available because this is the heart and the pulse of San Fernando. This space is our street theater venue for activities of this nature. We have been having events here for quite a while now since this place was made available. This is where you can come and interact with your people. We have had book launch here, live performances, concerts, and today we were able to demonstrate this performance by the Kambule Resistance Group. So I want to make it very, very clear that this space is really for the people, people's space in the city of San Fernando. Thank you, you yeah. So the Cambodia Rats really is a reenactment of, of, of what occurred in 1881 in Port Spain and it is part of the carnival show. So I think it's carnival Tuesday morning or Friday morning, I think it's put phone in Port Spain, a, a cast of a hundred. Uh, when I was a member of parliament, I was able to bring the show to San Fernando in 2010. However, that has changed a lot. It's a very expensive project to, to undertake. So, Paul and Springer and her team have condensed the program into a small, with a smaller cast, but with more energy and able to, in a very direct way, speak about it, about how this thing occurred, how Carnival started, how the ball. So, this show, when I saw it, I said something, this opportunity for us to bring this to San Fernando because this is a part of our history that we're not familiar with, but it's young people. So, from a historical perspective, it's important for us to be on this show. So, it's on tomorrow at the ball. It's, it's an environment where you can really focus on the real issues and understand a little, with a little more depth as opposed to what happens in Port of Spain on Thursday or the Friday morning because it's too broad and, and, and expanded for you to absorb and inculcate the issues, the real issues. So in a theatre scenario, in a theatre environment, you can really focus on the issues of each individual character and their story and get the narrative across how it's supposed to be. Thank you, Yaos. That's the leader for Enthusiasm.